Hello and welcome to a new Quad Friday. My name is Ramtar Sekavarin, also known as the, of the Mirror of the Truth. The first quad I will present you today with is of Einstein. The one in question is the definition of insanity is doing something over and over and expecting a different result. Indeed. If you are expecting constant the same result and not to try to evolve and I always want to stay in the conservative perspective, the anthropocentric conservative specific perspective you will not find that you will win this battle we vegans and our rights activists are just fighting for the rights of innocent defenseless living beings Blacks were fighting in the United States for their rights to be not treated anymore like commodities. Huh? You understand? They are just ones to be treated equal. I'm not for giving all animals the right to drive. I think even that not all members of our species should be allowed to drive. For example, people with severe mental disabilities, I think, are not. It's not so smart to let them drive. I also think that people with severely mental disabilities should not have children, because they don't can handle them often. And I speak out experts because my neighbors, when I was uh, growing up were less smart and the children often did bring problems in the street. Yeah, I know that is an anecdote of evidence, but still, I think if we think about it, we have also enough, more than enough people on this planet. There are around 50 years ago, right, people that actually were fighting for the ocean and the biodiversity on planet. What did what did it, the privileged guy say? Oh, it's not so much important. Oh shit, it was important. Because uh, those people were not listening to the environmentalists. We have now... Uh, the sixth mass great extinction of species on this planet. It is called the Anthropocene because we are responsible for it. How? It sounds maybe arrogant to some of your Republican conservatives, but screwing up ecosystems does actually affect the ecosystem. Destroying layers of the biomass of the oceans. This harmonizes them and creates large amount of damage. It is quite frankly more arrogant to think that we are not can create and terror on this planet. If we are around 35% of the biomass and the animals we are forcibly impregnated and massacred in the year are, if we count it up by ours, are around 98% of the biomass. So all those skeptics who think environmentalism is a money scheme think about how much money actually there is in actually denying climate disasters 
For example, big oil yeah, have a very big aesthetic interest of making a lies, just like animal agriculture and also other businesses like that. The phytoplankton populations were disappearing since the 1950s. The same time that actually commercial fishing started to severely increase, um, we did get faster rates of, uh, starting to get faster rates of um, species depleting. With around for 1950, maybe 20 to 50 species disappearing in a year unpassed, but today more than 20,000 species can be disappearing. Huh? First, we are killing off blind layers in the ocean, for example, sharks. We, uh, people kill in China for uh, shark fin soup and also kinds of dolphins are uh, killed for the bladders also for the um, Japanese mafia and the Chinese mafia the Yakuza Yakuza furthermore uh, of trophy hunting the um, poachers that actually kill rhinehorns because um, they are think rhinehorn is a delicacy or the one to sell their horn or their things that they, they always come back to think it is uh, manly to kill an innocent animal that they can fight back against your metal dick. How much times are you oppressors actually try to defend your position instead of on the moment that you are starting to get judged actually look in the mirror and look to your own behavior instead of blaming anybody and believing you are so special and that you are the hero in your own story because sorry princess and princesses you cannot be always right sometimes anybody is wrong like Dr. John McDougall also said many times People like to hear good things about their bad habits. And that's why Voltaire did say and warn you, all you people, that people who let can you let believe absurdities can let you commit atrocities. You don't have to have evil people to have an evil running world. A world run by evil. You only have to have people who are actually mostly out of selfishness. And what will people do? Want to how good things are about or bad habits? They are trying to find any any piece of actually misinformed and actually outrageous. Lunacred articles to defend their cruel position. Grass feed animals are actually far worse for the environment. Maybe, yes, you can argue that it is maybe better for the animals, but also you have to remember that cattle ranchers often kill animals on their own land and uh, actually stack them up to scare off other predators and also be look like a psychopath as all the coyotes all the wolves all the um, foxes around uh, their territory it looks like an uh, like it looks like the playground of um, the tyrant uh, flat uh, flat uh, tapest dragula of um, the 14th, 15th century. I was the prince of what a guy. It is also not a shame to ask questions, people. I signed it from Embert Alstead. Learn from yesterday. Live for today. And hope for. 
tomorrow. The important thing is never to stop asking questions. Indeed. That's good. Never to stop asking questions. Nothing to stop asking questions to yourself also. Be skeptical about what some people say. Because sometimes when you are following people blindly, you see that they are which you led to a way you don't want to see. Or don't want to walk a path you don't want to walk. The easiest way is not always the best way. The, the way of least resistance is not always the righteous way. It is nearly never the righteous way. Because it is always far easier to do what everybody have to say. Because then you are not starting to get judged so often. And people like to hear good things about their bad habits. So, that's what most people choose. That's the problem of the world. What Einstein said once. Indeed. This world is a dangerous place, not because of the people who are evil, but because of the people who don't do something about the evil, in other words, like Eloise said. The opposite of love is not hatred, in contrary with what most people say. The opposite of love is indifference, is apathy. That's what it creates the world. Yes, maybe for the not trained eye, you can say that hatred is the opposite of love. But both are actually extreme emotions. They are focused on somebody. They are in many ways part of each other. In contrary with indifference, indifference is just nothingness. It's giving up on life, giving not care about the truth. You don't care about it all. You care about your own life, but not about the things around you. You live in the moment and you only care about the moment. You not care about justice. Or if others have it good, you only care about your own status. That's how Hitler did, did actually make so much hatred against the Jews and made lies about them, you know. He did blame the Jews for the problems of the Germans, of the economical problems in the Third Reich, Nazi Germany. Nazi means, by the way, National Socialism. National Socialism, like to call them. Nationalist, in combination with socialism. So it is a system that only focuses on the Nazi, on the nation. Think about it. Socialism can be good, if you have true socialism, more a system that's based on society, not about the elite, not pyramid scheme like, like most form of capitalism. Yeah, yeah, you say, capitalism is the greatest system we have, that's always what capitalists say. But look we good, like look good around the world. Most of the world is capitalist and most of the world is poor. Around eight billionaires have the same amount of wealth as the poorest fifty percent of the world population and that includes actually the clothing they have, their lives, anything. So, 
ridiculous people. Don't tell me that capitalism is the best system we have, because that's shit. Capitalism needs to suck his wealth from someplace. In the past they did it with slavery. They did suck the labor out of blacks. Now today they suck the um, labor out of third world countries. Not anymore in the countries. In their own countries. To be precise. The names itself says it already. Capital. Listen. Capital. Latin for property. So, capitalism means the rule by the capital holder. Supply, demand, create and last. You know, the essence of capitalism is to turn nature into commodities and to turn commodities into capital. The large green earth is turned in nothing more than dead broke bridge with luxury item for the few a toxic shit for the masses wherein the masses are controlled with drugs TV computer games and armed force wherein one glittery mansion looks down on the streets, kissing his money and his gold, and looking down on the streets. We need to learn to live in harmony with the three laws of ecology. I don't care actually how you want to call the system, I actually suggest we should live by. But any form of capitalism I am, no, is terrible. And even if I look to the etymology of the word, it is not the thing I support. It is pure anthropocentric. It is like a pyramid scheme. With higher paying, with people who are higher on the economical ladder are pay, getting so much more profit and so much more money than the ones lower. It needs once in a while a collapse. It is not sustainable because it um, relies on bonds and on the IOUs. It makes so actually currency out of nothing. Yeah, that's what I do. If you have 10% reserve, they actually make. If you go to the bank, you give and you put actually 100 euros or dollars on the bank. They are actually make uh, up around a 90 dollars up or 90 euros up for nothing from the smoke mirror and sometimes there if they have no percent reserve actually they have make the, about 100 percent of the money so they are actually making money out of nothing from the legal money price but if you are doing it you are criminal when the state do it, it is legal. Like Dr. Martin Luther King did say once, one have a moral responsibility uh, to disobey unjust laws. An unjust law is not is a law that is not in harmony with the three laws of ecology. It is not in harmony with the laws of this world, of the laws of the ecology. An unjust law is a man-made law that is not based on equality, but is based on outdated pyramid scheme systems of hierarchy. So. Go vegan. If you want to make a difference in this world, if a man expires to an righteous life, his first act of abstinence is from injury uh, to animals. You can judge the moral progress of a 
country of a Nazi. On the way, his animals are treated. Because animals are the lowest class of the working class. There are slaves, the lowest parts of slaves. There are turned even is they are even so oppressed, so systematic oppressed, that they are considered property. They have not even the right to their own bodily integrity according to our six psychotic laws. Do you know which people also did not have? Black woman in South Africa and in many parts of the Arab world today. People, please, stop using the law as a justification for your cruelty. Get a backbone, stand up for what be right and go vegan. There is no excuse against veganism. Accept it. Make a plea and move forward. Again, if you are not a victim, it becomes pretty easy to mock your victims and label them stupid and dirty and say that their life don't matter years all. And say that they are have to prove to you why you should be kind to them and say that you have to actually to convince them instead of them how to prove to you why they're treating you like shit is justifiable. The violent one have always to come in peace with the compassion for one. He is not supposed to be so full of patriotism that he cannot face reality. Peace begins on the dinner table. Go vegan. I see you next time.